Guess what? In just 20 minutes, we are gonna get all those fish shack vibes with these blackened fish sandwiches with a horseradish tartar sauce. This is a 20 minute recipe. And for good measure, we're gonna time ourselves. So, 20 minutes on the clock, ready? Go! And we're gonna get started with that super flavorful tartar sauce. To start, we want about three tablespoons of mint shallot. Next up, we need some parsley, and we just need a couple tablespoons. Whenever I make homemade tartar sauce, I always gotta put in some cornichons. You gotta get that signature pickly flavor. We only have 15 minutes left. Hurry! We've got some capers. Give those a chop. It's gonna add lots of flavor. All right, we've got all of our chopped ingredients. Let's go ahead and add them to a bowl. To our chopped ingredients come our creamy elements. So first up, we've got some mayonnaise. You know I love mayonnaise. In addition to mayonnaise, we're gonna get some tangy creaminess with some sour cream. The acidity of the lemon is gonna help enhance all of those flavors, and we just need like maybe a tablespoon and a half. We're gonna squeeze right into our bowl. Here comes the secret ingredient to this homemade tartar sauce. So we are gonna stir in some prepared horseradish. If you've got it on hand or you find it at the store, you can also use some fresh horseradish. Uh, but I like to use prepared just because it's really easy. And what you'll notice when you buy prepared horseradish is it comes usually in two different strengths. So there's prepared like regular and then there's one that's called hot. Preference is yours, but the hot is definitely spicy. So let's stir that in. This is good, we're just gonna season it with a little salt and pepper, give it another mix. All right, I'm gonna pop this in the refrigerator and grab the fish. So you cannot have blackened fish sandwiches without an intense spice mixture to coat on your fish. So we are gonna mix together one teaspoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon of hot paprika. We also want a teaspoon of kosher salt. We also need one teaspoon of fresh thyme, and we also need one teaspoon of oregano. And last, we need half a teaspoon of freshly ground black pepper. All right, let's coat our fish. We are using four to five ounce fillets of either haddock, cod, you can also use hake. Really any sort of mild white fish will work really well here. The important thing to note about your fillets is they should be about three quarters of an inch thick because you want them to cook pretty quickly uh, because that spice mixture is going to get nice and blackened really quick in a cast iron skillet. Uh, and I like to find fillets that are about the same size as the buns that we're gonna serve with the sandwiches. All right, so before we cook our fish, we want to toast some brioche buns. So we're just coating them with just a little unsalted butter that we softened, and we're gonna do this in two batches. Ooh, hear that sizzle. Get them golden, get them brown. Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. caught it just in time. Look at that. That is gonna be such a good base for those tender fillets of fish. So once your buns are toasted, we're gonna add about a tablespoon of canola oil to our skillet, and we're gonna add about two tablespoons of unsalted butter, which is gonna immediately start to melt because that skillet is hot. Once it starts to melt, we can go ahead and add our fish fillets. So these are in, you can see they are immediately starting to get color on the edges, and they're gonna cook just a few minutes on each side. It's been a couple minutes, we're gonna give these a check. So with the first one, oh yes! Okay, this looks so good. While these fish fillets finish cooking, we're gonna prep our sandwiches. So we've got our beautiful buns here. We've got that delicious horseradish tartar sauce. We're gonna go ahead and add some Boston or bib lettuce. This is just gonna give us a spot to land our fish. Oh my God, we've got one minute left on the clock. All right, our fish is ready to go, so let's get it right onto our sandwiches. And to finish this off, we're gonna add a little more of that delicious horseradish tartar sauce onto the top bun and close our sandwiches. What'd I tell ya? 20 minute dinner. Or lunch, or cookout. Check out these gorgeous 20 minute blackened fish sandwiches with a horseradish tartar sauce. Oh my gosh, it's so juicy. Fish is juicy, check. Crusty, crunchy, spicy outside, check. But best of all, got that check mark for that homemade tartar sauce that's laced with horseradish. It just really takes it to the next level. And in just 20 minutes, 
You might say these blackened fish sandwiches are just in time for dinner. Get it? Just in time? <laughs>